Well, another scintillating instalment of Let's Talk Footy on Joy 94.9. Dougal Austin here with you. Uh, and with me is a marvellous co-host of the show, Mr. John Donohoe. John, good to see you. Yeah, look, it's good to be here. Uh, another event for uh, Let's Talk Footy. Just uh, coming along in leaps and bounds now. And the season's drawn to a close. But we're here at the NAB Rising Star, just about to announce a winner. So what do you think? Down at the Crown Palladium in Melbourne. It's always a great event. It's the holiday of the AFL. Sure year, is, the NAB sure AFL is. AFL Rising Star Award announcement. Look, there's been plenty of GWS youngsters who have been nominated for the event. Uh, any St Kilda? Any St yeah, Kilda players? Aaron, that Aaron Sipos. Aaron Sipos, is he a chance? Uh, no, not right now. I don't think so, no. Not right now. No, Sam not, Blaise, not Tom year. McDonald from Melbourne. What oh, do you I think, think it'll be a GWS boy. GWS mate. Uh, boy. Jeremy Cameron, mate. Possibly. Or uh, Michael T uh, Daniel Talia from Daniel Talia from the Crows. From the Crows, yeah. I think yeah. They're, the, they're the hot favourites at this stage. So. How's Jonathan Patton gone? Number one uh, he didn't get nominated. Didn't get nominated. No, he only, he only played a handful of games. So, so who eight, else from GWS eight got nominated? Eight JWS boys this year, and uh, you would think that they're a, a big chance to take them out. You got Dom Tyson, Toby Green, obviously ineligible, but uh, you know one of the JWS boys might will probably take it out. But uh, who knows? Could go either way. Well, when they're in their first year in the competition, they get what sixteen out of how many rounds? You know, nominations. I think sixteen of their boys were nominated this yeah. year. GWS boys. GWS boys. There's only eight nominees. Eight nominees, right? Only eight nominees. Eight nominees. Right? Only eight, nominees. So eight nominees. And how many other clubs got nominees? Uh, uh, mostly. Probably, yeah, mostly. probably two, maybe yeah. approximately two from each other club. Just about, so you yeah. Would, you, yeah. You would think that one yeah. of the GWS boys. Anyway, the award, the winner is about to be announced. So uh, let's tune into Anthony Hudson from Fox Sports and uh, find out who the winner is. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're back here, and uh, just before it's announced, back with uh, Yoram Pohl from Yozza's Fact File. How are you, Yozza? Mate, uh, I'm fantastic. I love the, how good is the Crown Palladium. I know. It's a sensational room, and uh, you know what I've noticed, mate? There are some fantastic chicks here. Oh, absolutely, and... Uh you know, you, uh, that's the reason you came along, not to worry, don't worry about the footy, isn't that, that's the reason you yeah, came look, along. pretty much. Uh, look, every footballer's got a pretty hot girlfriend, and I've picked up four numbers. So all the football players, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> give you, I'll give you great feedback. And uh, your hot tip for the winner uh, just before it's announced, who do you think it'll be? Uh, I'd say, um, look, I haven't got the girls' names, but um, <laughs> footballers, footballers. Yeah, the only the person winner, I remember well, from you guys is saying is Aaron Sipos. Yeah, he's, he's probably not going to win. But. No. That, what, who did you say? Who did you say? I said uh, Jeremy Cameron. Jeremy Cameron. Yeah. That's who I'm going for. <laughs> so uh, we'll come back to you soon when the, uh, when the winner's announced. Stay tuned. Yeah. Let's talk footy. Thursday nights, 7 to 8 p.m. Rock and roll. <laughs> Enjoyed the afternoon and getting to know our nominees a little better. Let's give them one final round of applause and wish them all the best. And we are about to announce the winner of the 2012 NAB AFL Rising Star. And to do that honour, I'd like to invite Andrew Demetrio, the AFL CEO, Cameron Klein, the NAB Group Chief Executive Officer, and last year's winner, Dyson Heppel, to come to the stage. The winner of the 2012 NAB AFL Rising Star is Daniel Talia of the Adelaide Pro. <laughs> Presty, the blanket, your teammate Jared Pachenko has just tweeted calling you the Iron Fist. Is it a win for the defenders, do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, still for Ben Lutton. Um, he, he loves defenders winning awards like that. So, um, yeah, yeah, definitely a win for the defenders. And, um, yeah, I honestly didn't think I'd be on the Iron Fist. Um, it's just up here at the moment. No, 
Uh, well, don't be, don't be nervous, don't be speechless. It was a fantastic, uh, well-deserved honour. Uh, I spoke briefly to your coach and he said you are just one of the most disciplined uh, athletes and, and footballers at the club. Even on your day off, you're in there at 7.30 going for a run. You just must love it and, uh, and be just putting everything into, into your career at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I've always, um, always been one of those guys that try to put in a bit more work than I suppose my opponent would. And um, I, I take that um, extra work that I put in during the week and take that confidence into the game, I suppose. So, um, yeah, look, I um, try and do everything possible. Um, I suppose it's been, I've had, I had a lot of injuries as a kid um, growing up and I've always had to do that extra work to get back on the park. So, um, yeah, I've tried to put everything into my career. Um, the ball's pretty much given me everything I've got. So, um, yeah, putting in as much into it at the moment as possible. And, yeah. In September, I suppose you've got to do that as well. Um, footy's in the family. Your grandfather, Harvey Stevens, played in the 1954 Premiership with the Bulldogs. Uh, was he a bit upset that you you were drafted to Adelaide? And how, how was the move? You said earlier you were close to your family and it was tough to move. Yeah, look, it was a pretty um, tough move um, originally. Um, like Shory said, we just finished Year 12, um, done the final exam, and then three days later we were on the plane and doing our first 3K run under Neil Craig. So that was that was tough. And leaving um, my family, obviously, having, having an Italian background as the um, clip show before, that was that was really tough because I've always been close to my mum and my dad and grandparents and two brothers. So, um, yeah, look, it was tough, but I suppose you adapt as you get over there and you've got to mature pretty quickly um, coming into an AFL environment. So, um, yeah, did that and, yeah, haven't looked back since. And it's well known now that you have been able to eclipse some of the best forwards in the competition. And for such a young man, it is a fantastic achievement. Do you, do you get a real buzz out of that, taking on the best and, and being able to nullify them? Yeah, look, I do. I um, look forward to a challenge each week. And this year, um, it's great that Sando and Darren Milburn have had the confidence to put me on um, those, those really good forwards. And I suppose um, it's, not, it's not just me doing the job. It's um, the team this year has been really successful. Um, and they've helped like, the midfield putting pressure on um, all the guys down back have helped me out. Um, so it's not just me doing the role. It's the team helping me out as well. Well, it doesn't get any bigger than playing finals for you in a home final coming up. How excited are you about that? And what are you looking forward to the most? Yeah, look, I'm really excited to play my first final this week. Um, I suppose I would have just tried to keep things as normal as possible going into this week. I haven't tried to do anything out of the ordinary. Um, I suppose it is not that other game, but we're really looking forward um, to playing in this final because I suppose we're built to, that, built to this final all year. And, um, yeah, it's going to be great. What time do you stadium you like to be on when, it's, when the Crows are playing well? Yeah, look, the crowd go pretty nuts. As um, Sam Shaw said before, they were lining up for tickets on Monday they were around the stadium. So, um, yeah, look, they're going to be pumped about it, and um, as the players are, and it's going to be a real buzz over there. So hopefully we can start well. Um, if we can start well and get on top early, I'm sure the crowd will come into it um, and, and be a real factor for us. So, yeah, that, that's what we'll be looking to try and do. Well, you are the NAB AFL Rising Star winner of 2012. You have the Ron Evans medal to show for it. Uh, so congratulations. Is there, I'm sure there's a few people you'd like to thank. Yeah, look, there is. Um, I should probably start off by thanking the playing group. Uh, I suppose the back line as well, I want to mention Ben Button, he's been huge for me. Um, obviously being my mentor as you saw in the clip, and I've tried to learn and model my game off him. Um, to some more experienced guys down there, um, Brent Riley, um, Michael Dowdy, Sam Shaw, Brody Smith, I've I told him I've mentioned them all, so I've gone through them all. Um, and the coaches, Darren Milburn and um, uh, Brent Sanderson, they've been huge for me this year, showing confidence in me. Um, to my girlfriend Megan, who's over there sitting on the table, and her parents, um, Susan and Greg, I, I live with Megan, so um, they've given me a house this year and fed me all year and looked after me, so that's been great. Um, to my parents, Jack and Catherine, who've been there for me my whole career. Uh, yeah, your support's been fantastic, and your dad flies over to every, just about every game, so we travel now, um, we've been a big load on here with work, so it's, it's been good that you support me, Dad. Um, to my two brothers, Michael and Adrian, um, yeah, they've been there for me as well. Um, Michael's helped keep it really competitive. He's been staffing my toe for my whole career, so he's really helped me work hard and I still remember to be involved with him in the street as a kid, so that's, that's been really good. Um, yeah, and to everyone that's supporting me, my junior coaches, um, Laurie Costable and Steve Thompson, um, Ray Carroll from Assumption, Scott Wine, and I think Ian Kite's here as well, to all those people um, who've been fantastic in helping me develop as a kid and um, who's helped get me to where I am today. Uh, to my best mate sitting over there, Jacob Thompson, um, he's been with me as well. He's 
updating level added and needs to make sure I haven't got a big head um, as I've developed. And yeah, just to everyone that's um, had a part in my career this, to this moment, um, thank you very much. Um, it's very much appreciated and without you all, I'm sure I wouldn't be standing here, so thank you very much. Spoken, Daniel. Uh, congratulations again. We might have a quick look at the uh, at the votes. Uh, you won pretty comprehensively, and certainly we can uh, see very shortly that uh, there you are, 43 votes. So all but two judges giving you the the five. Jeremy Cameron in second place. Congratulations to Jeremy with 35 votes. Mitch Wallace with 19. Adam Tremor, Stephen Motmot, Tom McDonald, Josh Caddy, and Stephen Keneal are all polling. So congratulations to all those. Uh, players that have polled votes and indeed all the nominees for 2012. But Daniel Talia is the 2012 NAB AFL Rising Star. Well, a big thank you everyone. Uh, as we said, congratulations to all the nominees, in particular to uh, Daniel and uh, to Andrew and uh, to all the AFL, AFL team. We look forward to a fantastic final series coming up. A big thanks to NAB, of course, for their support of the Rising Star. And uh, enjoy September, everyone. Let's have some great finals. So at the NAB AFL Rising Star Award announcement for 2012, Mr John Donohoe, Daniel Talia Did from I the call Adelaide Crows. You called, called that it. earlier on. And uh, my other man, Jeremy Cameron, came second. So there you go. So if you're uh, questioning my ability to call football, there you go. I, uh, I called that. Although Daniel and, uh, Talia, 42 votes, is, is that a lot of votes for the yeah. Rising Star? Well, I think it's about the, there's about eight people on the panel, I believe, and uh, each person gets a vote, so who knows, but the next closest was Jeremy Cameron with 35, so he, uh, Talia won pretty easily in the end. And Jeremy Cameron, let's not forget, lost, uh, well he didn't play the last three games Absolutely. at home, season injured, so had he played them... Maybe a few more votes. <laughs> Maybe, look, he's, result. He's, a, uh, he's a superstar, he'll come up through the ranks and... You know, he could uh, he could be the next Mitch Rewalt and win 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 plenty of awards. So Daniel Talley is a deserving winner, but uh, yeah, well done to him. And he's playing in a final this weekend it against sure the Swans. Is. Sure is. At I, Stadium. I imagine there's no better feeling. So uh, yeah, so Daniel Talia, the winner of the 2012 NAB AFL Rising Star, and uh, speaking to the media shortly at the press conference, we'll, uh, which we'll uh, go we'll, and have a look at. We'll come back to you uh, at the end of the day.